morning student today uh, i am going to explain the topic basics in my last video i already explained you about the property of acid now today i am going to explain you bases so first of all i want to explain you what are bases so we have 118 types of elements and when the elements combine each other then they form compounds and these compounds having different property and we categorize these substances so first of all we categorize in acidic substances another is basic substances and the last one is salts so acid are already explained now today i am going to explain you bases so what are bases the question arises here what are bases so bases are those chemical substances which have a bitter taste bitter taste means if you have a small piece of salt so in your mouth you feel very bitter taste that taste is called bitter taste so they all the bases having bitter taste another is it is chemically opposite then acid so bases are totally opposite then acids and the third is it it neutralizes an acid it has the capability to neutralize the acid you all know that acid is very harmful for our skin it is very dangerous we need to take precaution when we are using acids so basic bases having quality to neutralize them to make when we when the base is react with an acid then you realize that it convert into salt and water in your seventh class you already know about when what is neutralization reaction and the neutralization reaction is a reaction in which when acid react with base then it combine and form two substances and the two substances are salt and water and the salt if we take strong base and strong acid then that salt both salt we get on that time that salt is completely neutralized so it doesn't have the property of acid and it doesn't have the property of base so this is a very important chemical reaction in our day to day life we are using it a lot so next is for example we have lot of bases and bases are sodium hydroxide calcium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide and many more we have lot of bases we have lot of bases because i was told you that elements combine to form compounds and these compounds are always in three categories first is acid second is base and third one is salt so we have many bases but there is one difference between bases some bases are capable to dissolve in water they make aqueous solution but some bases are not able to dissolve in water so alkalis alkalis are those bases which are able to soluble in water we have in that aqueous solution so these bases are called alkalis but the bases those which are not able to dissolve in water they are only bases alkalis are also bases but they are special property they having special properties and due to this special properties these bases make them more useful for us so for the example sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide you all know that i will explain you that how magnesium hydroxide is useful for us we are many ways we are using this magnesium hydroxide in our day to day life so now i move on on my next topic that is property of this okay so good morning student uh, so i have written properties of bases for class 10 and uh, in my last video i have already explained about uh, the property of ac so now i am going to explain you the property of bases so what are bases what are bases bases are those which having bitter taste bitter taste means if you have a small piece of soap and put in your mouth you feel very uncomfortable 
taste. I also realize that it is, it, it is, it's, its taste is not good. So that type of taste is called bitter taste. And all the base is having bitter taste. So the, my, my first property of the base is, base have bitter taste. So all the base is having bitter taste. And I say, base feels soapy to touch. Yes, we, if we touch any base, then you realize that it's, we feel soapy. It's soap-like feeling we have. So the base is all the base is having soapy, soapy touch. But one big question, you have to take that the bases, some bases are weak and some bases are strong. So also as same as acid, some bases those are strong. It is also corrosive in nature. So we are able to touch any base because it is corrosive in nature. The third point is, bases turn red litmus to blue. Yes, you all know that acid turns blue litmus into red. In opposite, the bases are capable to turn red litmus to blue. My fourth point is, bases conduct electricity in solution. Yes. So in my dear student, you all know that bases, some bases are capable to dissolve in water and we call that bases are alkylates. And these bases are able to conduct electricity. What happened? What happened here? Means what happened in these bases that bases are able to conduct electricity. So my dear student, when we dissolve, when we uh, take that type of bases which are capable to dissolve in water, those bases, when we dissolve it, those bases are continuously and start converting into hydroxides. They are converted into hydroxide ions and these ions are capable to conduct electricity. Whenever the ions are present in the solution and any solution, whenever the ions are present in any solution, these solutions are able to conduct electricity. So that's why alkylis are able to conduct electricity because they are also bases. So that's why I have written here that bases conduct electricity means they are good electrolytes. Next point is bases react with some metals to form hydrogen gas. Yes, as same as when acid are react with metal, it also evolve hydrogen gas as same as bases are also react with metal, then it forms, it evolves hydrogen gas. Yes, they are Thank you. 